right, I hope you're having a great day. This is your January 2022 real estate market update. I am Derek DeVille, the co-owner of Realty One Group Empire. Let's hop on in and take a look at what has happened in 2021 in real estate and maybe what might happen here in 22. Let's hop in. All right, let's get right to it, guys. So this first graph that I hear here for you, I wanted to give you a little bit of historical data. You can obviously see all of 2021. And then I brought it all the way back to October of 2020, just so you could take a look at this. I'll let you pause it if you really want to dive in. But basically, what I'm looking at is I wanted to see the seasonal adjustment. And what I mean is typically in the fall and winter, home prices go down, buyer interest goes down. But if we look at 2020, you can see that the for sale, right, which is that light green, actually increased at the end of last year, 2021, over 2020. And you can see that the solds are pretty much equal and the pendings are pretty much equal too. So I, the only real difference I see is just some more inventory. But also if you look at 20, 20, um, 2020, you can see that those pendings were kind of all over the place, big you know, increases and drops. But when you look at the fall and winter of 2021, it's a very smooth graph there. So you can pause that and go into more details. Next one I'm gonna show you is months of inventory. What this means, is that if nobody else was allowed to put their house on the market, how long would it take for all of the homes to sell? And you can see I brought it all the way back again to October of 2020, and there was less than a month of inventory. And here we are now ending 2021 with only 1.2 months of inventory. And to give you some sort of a guide, a good, healthy, balanced market has six months of inventory. We have about one, which means we need more homes to sell. Next graph I have here, I wanted to show you the average sold price and the average for sale price. And you can see, once again, back to October of 2020, the average sales price was 327. Now we're at 398. So that trajectory is going up nice and smooth. Next graph, average days on market, which means, Derek, how long does it take to sell a home on average? And when I say sell, I mean get into escrow. You can see that in October of 2020, it was taking approximately 42 days for the average home to get into escrow. We have dropped that down to 31 days ending 2021. Now this next graph I have for you, this is a real fun graph and you can see this is the last 15 years, which I've been in the business longer than that. So I lived this graph and I can still feel the pain from some of it and a lot of the joy too. But um, anyways, taking it all the way back, look at that where the average sales price before the crash, you can see was above 350. I mean, excuse me, was about 325 for the sold price. And then you can see it, it went all the way down in 09 and uh, 2011, all the way down just a little over 100,000. And look at the trajectory since 2011. Nice, strong increase. And then boom, you can see COVID hit and look at the monster acceleration. That line straightened out and just started going almost straight up. It is very intense. So, Will we have another correction? Yes. Is it going to be in the year 2022? I don't know. I can tell you this. All of the indicators that I can see, all the resources at my fingertips, all of the professionals that I talk to, we don't see it. And as of recording, this is January 12th of 2022, and there is no sign of a slowdown. If anything, I actually think that the prices are going to continue to go up. Now, what could stop it from going up? interest rates could potentially stop it depending on how drastic the increases are and then there's unforeseen things that nobody can predict but that is what i think all right there it is that is what's going on if you have any real estate needs at all feel free to reach out to me we would absolutely love to help you i hope you have a prosperous happy and productive 2022 see you next month